Evening Pipers. Diesel Piper here. Sorry I haven't gotten back to you guys in a while. Things have been kind of crazy lately. We uh, have my in-laws living with us right now. And uh, their, um, their plan was to move up north here where we are in uh, north central Washington um, from Portland. And uh, that was like a 10 year down the road re retirement plan kind of thing. But so we got them moved up here. He found a job. Um, everything just kind of fell together so we've been uh, moving them up here for the past couple of, couple few weeks and whatnot and I just didn't have a whole lot to tell you guys but uh, I gotta tell you today has been one hell of an eventful day and I'll tell you why So, uh, the wife's been wanting to go on another hike, and uh, we try to do do one on most weekends if, if we can, but it just always gets put off, and so we don't get out and do the hiking as much as we like to, at, at least not this year. And uh, So yeah, so she wanted to go on a hike, so I planned out this hike to one of my favorite places, and then we found out it's not dog friendly, so we're like, alright, well we're not going to be able to do that one since her, her parents went down to uh, Portland last night so they could rent their house out, so we got both our dogs and their dog. Hold on. So it's kind of hard to do a, a trail that's no longer dog friendly with three dogs. So we uh, piled them in the truck and uh, I knew my dogs did good in the back of the truck. I just, I didn't know how their dog did. And, uh, so he's like a little terrier dachshund mix kind of thing. His name's Nate. He's probably 30 pounds. Got kind of stumpy little legs, but, you know, good dog. Just freaks out when he sees lightning and hears thunder. So, anyway, we ended up, hold on, I can kind of show you leaving our house and hopefully you can see it through the trampoline but way up there that mountaintop right there at the top of my finger the top of the mountain there that's where the uh, our local ski area is at and uh, back in 1944 B-24 Liberator bomber uh, crashed up there and the wreckage is still up there and uh, so She's never been up to see it, and it had been a while since I had, and so I was like, let's, let's go do that. So, threw the dogs in the truck, went on up. And uh, got up there, did the hike, which is like two-thirds, maybe three-quarters of the way up the mountain to the top. Got up there, took some pictures. I'll be posting those on my, you know, uh, Facebook and all that. And, ah, ha, ha, hey, we had a great time. We went on this hike. Here's pictures. That kind of thing. So we're taking our pictures. We keep noticing he likes to run off, so we put him back on his leash. And uh, so then we head down the mountain, and... When we're probably about halfway down the mountain back to the truck, all of a sudden we just hear this loud crash of thunder. And we're like, all right, sweet, thunder. It's not going to get to us. We're going to get to the truck. Didn't quite work out that way. We uh, got to the truck right as it started going from like a mild to medium rain to an actual like pounding monsoon rain, which... Um, the area that uh, Sparky Pipes and I live in is, because uh, he's my neighbor, so a quick shout out to him, Sparky's Pipes, yeah! But uh, the area that we live in, it's an arid, um, it's a high altitude desert. So when we get these massive monsoon storms, all of a sudden everybody's phone starts going off, hey, in our counties there's flash flood warnings, you know, if you 
live in these canyons, watch the hell out, get your babies, get your wives, get your husbands, your kids, whatever the hell, your dogs, your property, all latched down and away from uh, any ditches or roadside, uh, you know, rain gutters or whatever. Lock yourselves up, stay away. There's going to be some debris and, and chite running around. and So we're coming down the hill in the truck, and it's a 45 mile an hour zone, and it's, I mean, big ass boom of thunder shakes the truck freaking lightning instantly after couldn't have been too far off from us and well the three dogs are in the back my rottweiler Emmett he just has his head down he's like a lot of rain back here but we'll get home Jasper my other dog the the uh, Sheltie Australian Shepherd he looks like a wet poodle He's crouched up against the back. And uh, Nate's real short. He and Jasper are good buddies, so I just assumed he's right next to Jasper. So we get to the bottom of the hill. And we stop off at the convenience store. I'm going to grab an energy drink because we got up real early. And we're just tired, but we don't want to take a nap. We've got some things we're going to do here in a minute. And so we decided we can grab some energy drinks and rock on. And so the wife goes in to get the energy drinks, because I don't want the dogs to jump out. And our dog Jasper, the wild one, is standing with his feet up on the bed rail, and I'm like, alright, I'm just going to go out and stand there so to make sure they don't jump out. And I look back there, no Nate, just Jasper and Emmett, no Nate. Son of a bitch. Hmm. Did I kill my in-law's dogs? Or dog? I don't know. Maybe. So I walk into the convenience store. I open the door. There's a couple people in there, and I just yell. I'm like, Shh, real loud whistle. I'm like, honey, Nate's not in the truck. Get over here. She comes running out. We get in the truck, and we start driving back up the big-ass mountain road toward the top of the mountain. So at this point, the rain that was going on coming down the mountain is farther down the mountain, kind of by our house. So we leave the convenience store, we're going up the road, we pass our house, look around our development real quick. No, he didn't jump out there and try to go to the house. So, so we keep chooching up the mountain. And uh, all of a sudden it's that driving monsoon rain that's like, it leaves that gray sheet in front of you and you have to slow down because even on like a grade like that steep, the road is just covered in enough water to hydroplane my F-250. I'm like, holy crap. So there's just sheets of water going down the road. Cars are slowing down because they're wobbling. Luckily, I have enough with my mud tires and my big truck weight. I, I can get up the road pretty good, but I'm still having a little bit of trouble in uh, little dip spots where there's a bunch of water piled up. And we're trying to look for this stupid little brown dog in next to brown dirt and brown rocks in the freaking ditches. Don't see him, don't see him. We get all the way to the top of the mountain. Are you kidding me? Now my lighter's breaking? What a day. So. We get all the way up to the top of the Jadarn Mountain. The rain has stopped up there because now it's all down here. And we start yelling, Nate, 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 no dog, no dog. So we're like, all right, fine, get back in the truck, we got to go back down. So we're chooching down the road, and I'm like, honey, the Humane Society closed about an hour ago, but just give him a call and see, you know, if he's there. Because maybe he, he didn't jump out when the thunder and lightning went off. I know he's scared shitless of thunder and lightning, but maybe he didn't jump out there. Maybe, maybe he jumped out when we were sitting down there in the parking lot at the convenience store. Because she was, like, texting her parents or something who were on their way back from Portland, you know. Oh, we just took your dog on a hike, and he was so great, huh? Prick. So, she was texting. And so we were in the truck for about a minute or two without checking on the dog. So maybe he jumped out down there, and somebody just took him to the Humane Society. So she calls, he's there. So we drove all the way up the damn mountain for nothing. I'm like, you little bastard. You better have a leg, like, sticking out of his butthole or something, you know. This dog better have an injury, because I'm pissed. He chases our cat. He terrorizes the whole house and neighborhood. But anyway, I mean, he's not that bad. I'm just, you know, exaggerating for fun. So we get down the hill. 
I'm running out of lighter juice. Come on now. I'm at the end of the pipe. I'm going to put that down. But anyway, so we get down the hill. We go to the Humane Society, which is right down the street from the convenience store. The dude's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working the desk today. And even though we're closed, we're getting a lot of dogs brought in and stuff because they're running loose, scared shitless by the thunder and lightning. So we get him, and he kind of comes walking out with his head down like, I'm so busted. I'm like, yeah, bruh, what the hell? And he's got a one-square-inch raspberry on his underside by his dick. That's That's the whole thing flying out of the truck at 45 miles an hour and he gets a one inch square road rash and I think a small gash on one leg but nothing you know he needs to go in for doesn't need stitches just a little cut and some road rash and I was just like you little bastard I can't believe you so needless to say the wife and I were scared shitless that we decided to see how good the her parents dog rode in the back and he jumped out and great we killed him and They've been living with us for like two and a half weeks. Oh my God, what a day, man. And now it's gorgeous out, you know. Everything, all all the nasty weather and everything is past. Well, there's still a little bit of it over there. That's my father-in-law's diesel truck. Mine's the blue one, can't see it, but anyway. So yeah, that's been my day, you know. You try to go on a nice hike and just enjoy your, your Saturday off. And that happens. Oh, anyway, it's 11 minutes and 40 seconds you probably don't really care about, but hey, that's an update on me. Other than that, not a whole lot going on, you know, just go to work, come home, go to work, come home. So, hey, that's kind of nice, though, because nothing big is going down that you know, messes up life too much. So, anyway, hope everything's going well for you guys. Keep up the great videos for those of you that are throwing up videos and whatnot. Love watching them, and uh, sorry I haven't been able to make a video for a while. And by the way, in my little, my little billiard here, I was, uh, I was, uh, going to town on some hobbit's weed there, so, anyway, you guys have an awesome, splendid weekend, and I'll catch you later, peace.